XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> What's up? It's me, Audra. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic, frenetic energy, and any of these things, then I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe. I am magic. Just, just so you know. All right, what are we here with? Today, Audra. Well, it is Monday, which means it's time for bam, 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 new makeup nonsense bingo. And once again, I am joined by my fantabulous and fabulous friends, the lovely, energetic, and kind Emily Hanham. And let us not forget my favorite garbage person who always makes me laugh, puts a smile on my face every time I talk to them, Teresa of Teresa is Dead, and our newest, most fabulous member, the effervescent, glorious, little person with big person energy, <laughs> Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat hips. Now, for those of you that do not know, what this is is a little bit of a will I buy it with adult libations and a bingo game. It makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting, and less like, uh, and will I buy it? We're going to find out. Hopefully my wallet will stay safe. But you know what? With me, we never know. The information, hopefully, for if you want to play new makeup nonsense bingo, we also have a playlist. That will be in the description below if I have done my job correctly. If I have not done my job correctly, there's no need to get on me for it. Just tell me and I'll do it like you don't need to be rude. All right, let's get started. Here is the card I have chosen. And whilst I scooch on over to the side and open my adult libation, which today we are going to be having wine in a can, and it is Oceans Away, the Pineapple Wine Spritz. Don't let its cuteness fool you. This bitch packs a punch. All right. <laughs> So now that we've seen everything, we've seen what we're work working with. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and revert. Okay, we're done now. I'm done. I'm done for now. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm very excited because like, listen, I've been waiting for this moment. You're singing it, aren't you? Before we see what's first, let us have a sip. Tangy. All right. And just in case you thought I was kidding, I do believe that this has a ridiculous, this is 12.1% ABV. And you know, for those of you that don't know, I think I just learned like last year what ABV actually means. So like, let's, all right, here we go. See my eye do the thing? Cause I hate it when I'm not as smart as I think that I am. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First oh, we have 50 Shades of Beige from Hermes. It is their spring 2021 rose. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go look at this. Now in my neck of the woods, we would just be saying Hermes. It's Hermes. Look at that. We got new stuff from Hermes, y'all. So the thing is, it's very not me. It's very much not built for my skin. That's okay. I have Pat McGrath. The brushes look interesting. I don't have anything to say because like why, I, I, what would I possibly want with any of this? It's just none of this would look good on my skin. I can get two face brushes. So I could, I could get, I could get the brushes. That, that seems like a really good time for me. So um, I'm, I'm, listen. 
To start this way is offensive to my soul and my large flared nostrils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the card and see what that fits as because so far it fits as ashy as fuck. So let's, um, is that an option? Like is, is ashy as fuck an option? I just, I'm, I was curious, like is it all? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> is ashy as fuck on the board? <laughs> no, okay, all right. I thought I would see. Um, We're gonna go with complexion release with a terrible range because this is a complexion release because it's blushes and that's complexion. And so I am going to go ahead and say that. Ooh, okay. So Juvia's Place is coming out with uh, the Nubian Glow Balm. So here's the thing, 2021 is gonna be all about lip balm. I don't, uh, it's gonna be all about lip balm. Colorful lip balms, it really is. I I thought that last year and I but I just don't do produ predictions because I don't know, I feel weird when I do them and obviously my Taurus energy won't allow me to be wrong about them. So I'm like, mm, I feel like that's what's gonna happen because people have been wearing masks. People are probably gonna continue wearing masks. Wearing a lip like this, my face is in the description below. Mm. But wearing a lip like this is not necessarily something you wanna have behind your mask. Liquid lip, all that kind of stuff. Like it's great to wear in your house, but a lot of us do not wanna wear it. Like especially if you're having to go out for a prolonged period of time, doing groceries, whatnot. Your lips are gonna be getting dry, all that kind of shit. So now we have solutions and I feel like there's, I feel like maybe I saw a few different brands come out with this. These I'm pretty excited about, but I really, hope that they taste like that because it's like they say they have it in coconut and papaya and like there's a few different flavors that it's in and so I'm just curious to find like does it taste like it is it out yet I wonder wait hold on let's go mm, let's go listen listen Stop judging me. I feel your judgy eyes on me and I don't appreciate it. Um, stop judging me. Okay, anyways. So like, yeah, so it was saying, I was I was right. It was saying it's available in coconut, papaya, guava, mango, and grape. My hope is that it tastes like that. I know you're not supposed to eat your lip balm, but like, listen, we're eating our lip balm. We know we are. You know you are too. You know that mm, coconut. Listen, this is the truth of life. I really hope that it tastes good. Somebody said $12 for a lip balm is pretty steep for a brand known for affordability. Uh, I don't know. Here's the thing. I, I Price is subjective. I'm always going to be, be a person that says that. It just depends on like what you value, like how you feel value is. Because listen, Burt's Bees is a lip balm and everybody knows I was stealing those from the Walmart like every time I went, every time I went. I don't do it anymore. Like once I turned 40, I stopped. But <laughs> I'm just saying, everybody like knows that there's a lot of lip balm that's hella expensive. And like just one of those Burt's Bees is like, I felt like it was like $7. I was like, bitch, I ain't paying $7 for lip balm. So I didn't. <laughs> Where does this fall in the bingo card before I get arrested? FBI? That was before. It's not even a felony. It was so little money. Leave me alone. Okay. Where does this fall on the bingo card? Let's see. Yeah. I mean, is it a lip gloss? Probably. I'm going to say that it's yet another lip gloss because if I'm perfectly honest, like kind of, it kind of is. You know what I mean? Like it kind of is another lip gloss. Because lip balm, lip gloss these days, because it's got shine. It's got shine. It's the same shit. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the next thing in our our party of one. Actually, it's a party of four. One more, and we can make it the party of five. But I do not. I don't want to be Nev Campbell's character. Also, I don't want to be the little girl like she should bear. Can I be Scott Wolf? No, I don't want to be him either. I don't want to be anybody on that show. I'll be Jennifer Love Hewitt. I don't think I have the melons. Moving on. Okay, <laughs> moving on, we have DJ's Unique Boutique who is releasing liquid multi-chrome shadows, it looks like. Here's the thing. I think that they are beautiful, but I really have not enjoyed 
any liquid formula yet. I need somebody to tell me if they found any liquid liquid eyeshadow formula that they've actually enjoyed because I genuinely hate it. Like I, I hate it. Like I, it's not even because I'm old. When I was young, it's still crust, crust on the eyes. I don't like the way it feels like my eyes are like old newspapers that like a dog peed on and it was just like left in the wind, like blowing up against that like metal fence with the checkers. That was a very intense description, but that is how I feel about it. And I just, I just cannot get myself to buy these. I can't do it. Uh, I, I, I'm really excited for the brand. Maybe I'll get something else from them, but this isn't it. This isn't the thing. I think that they're really beautiful, but I just don't like liquid. I don't like it. I don't like working with it. Says the bitch who was like, I hate cream and now I wear cream blush once in a while and I like it. Like Salt New York has a really good one. I'm like, bitch, yes. But like still, like the blue and the purple is kind of calling my name. So is the green. Ooh, they're all kind of calling my, I just can't. I'm not going to do it. You know what? I am going to gird my loins and I'm going to say no because I absolutely adore these. But also I know that I don't like liquid formulas. I'm just not a fan. I don't want to feel like forced to like work too quickly or whatever. I also don't want to have to like do it and then like sit there like this because I have like blind eyes, deep set eyes, uh, and I'm not in the mood. That was a belch. You are welcome. It was one of my baby ones, so like we should be good, right? Like we should be in a good mood. We should be all right with that burp. Yes. So what are we gonna call this? Um, I don't feel like it fits anywhere. Like it could technically be major copycat vibes because so many other like a few other brands have already released like multi-chromes that are liquid. Y'all, if you want to see my single shadows collection, I'm, I feel like I'm going to regret doing this. But if you want to see my single shadows collection, please drop the sploosh sign. You know the three wallet water droplets that sploosh? Please drop the sploosh emoji emoji in there. I'm getting smashed. I feel it. The like the, the wine is already starting to hit my ass. Okay, moving on. I just spent like 15 minutes trying to buy this. DJ, you better make me happy with this, alright? I don't want to be an angry gal. Listen, I've been watching a lot of Jersey Shore and like we're, we're I'm moving back into the things. Okay, okay, back to the game. Anyway, I couldn't find I you know what? Um I already bought it. <laughs> drunk me would buy it. That's what we're gonna put it as. Because drunk me did just buy it, okay? So that's a thing. <laughs> All right, so next up we have this abomination. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. We have this abomination. Let me try this one more time. Next up, we have this abomination. Okay, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> Let me just, I can't get through it. Like, I, I, okay, y'all, I, I get it, okay? I understand that people have their nostalgia or whatever, okay? I get it, you know what I mean? I, I, I get it, I get it. I like the Rugrats as much as the next person, person. Persona. However, this is hideous. First of all, who thought that Angela's entire, like, where And I like Funko. You know, I have a willow. Y'all may not have known. It's up there and you can't see it, but I have willow there. I used to have another one. I, I like pop funks, Funkos. I like them. I like, I like them. But not in my makeup. Okay, that was a weird horse sound. And I think I only make that sound when I am genuinely confused. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Ah, oh, I hate it so much. They have lip gloss and it's got like Chucky's head on it. Like your, your behat, you pull off his head. Also storing that, like where do you, hmm, where do you put it? Where do you put? Okay, I can't deal with this. It's actually like visual, uh, and, the, and then the shades inside aren't even fun. Here's the thing. Angelica was a mood, okay? Angelica would have had all the color. Angelica would have had blue. Like, here's the thing. If you want to do this abomination, ugh, 
make the colors fun. This is where you put in blue, green, pink, purple, and white, just to fuck with people. Those are the shades. Blue, green, purple, pink, pur I, white, red, six shades. They only did six shades. Why were they beige? Why were they boring? Angelica was the most extra ass bitch there was and you're gonna like represent Angelica with peach? Angelica? Okay, listen. And then you just started putting their heads on these lip glosses like, oh my God, I cannot, Tommy, oh, that looks, uh, listen, I cannot handle the fucking creep factor. I, uh, I can't, it is so upsetting to my psyche right now. Like, I don't know who was like, yes, this is perfection. Yes, like we need to fire, like they need to be fired. Not like for real, but like, I'm calling the police because a crime has been committed. This frightens me to no end. Like I'm so scared of it. Like I really am. I'm like, I gotta look away from it because I'm scared. This is like one of the worst concepts I have. How? I love Rugrats, okay? Y'all, I love Rugrats. This ain't it. It's like Walmart, like it just, it feels like because it was with Walmart, <laughs> this is what we got. I, I just, I don't understand. I feel like this is so weird. Like these collaborations are coming out with like movies and like TV shows and they just aren't deserving. Like I just, this is what, see this, this right here is, <sighs> Oh, I hate it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done raging on this. The fright, uh, the fright that I get from their hood, uh, the Tommy one is making me ill and it is causing the taco to curl up in on itself because I'm so scared. I don't like it. Like, I don't like this at all. It gives me creepy feelings. I'm finished. I'm so scared. Okay, what are we gonna call this on the board? I feel like I am going to call this a collab for with someone not known for makeup because it's the motherfucking Rugrats. Bring! Like what? I'm gonna put the music in there. I think. Anyways, I don't know what happened there, and my like entire being is destroyed by that. Ugh, I don't like it. Okay. All right. Next up, we have BH Cosmetics with the. Limited edition give back step up 12 color eyeshadow palette Celebrate girl power and raise up women everywhere with the give back step up 12 color shadow palette Featuring step ups orange and gold colors plus girl power pink and purple hues and smooth matte and lustrous shimmer finishes These high impact shadows are sure to highlight your confidence in every look 100% of net proceeds from this palette will be donated to step up helping teen girls and undeserved communities fulfill their potential. And that is why I can't say anything mean, even though I don't love it, I don't love it, but it's going to a good cause. And therefore, therefore my loud ass is gonna have to be like, it doesn't fit anywhere on the bingo card and we're just gonna move forward. I actually, here's what I'm gonna say. I really applaud BH for doing this. Cause like it's not my color story, all right? It like the, the color story is very confusing to me. Uh, I my neurodivergent brain cannot comprehend what's happening here. I can't even see really a look for me in here. I feel like there's a couple shades that are same. That's all gonna like that's me. That's a me thing. But I do love that there are like a hundred percent of the proceeds. That is what we're talking about when like I want to see makeup companies and beauty companies really giving back. That's giving back. So for that reason, I'm just I'm there for it. It is definitely not for me. That's okay. That's okay. If you have the money to purchase it to help with the Step Up program by all means buy this bad baby and like make your life go cool. Cause like the shade names are cute as fuck actually. Like the shade names, let me just like make this bigger because I have old lady eyes. There's like community, potential, girl power, success story, inspiration, confidence. What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being? What's wrong with being confident? Oh, all right. So then there's step up, there's valuable. 
there's um, unstoppable leader strength and hope so like I like that I like that it doesn't fit anywhere on the bingo card but fuck yeah BH for like being a, a, a 100% that's what I'm talking about more people need to be doing that 100 up next we have a nine pan revolution coming from Sigma my eyes cannot handle this okay I'm trying to like look at each one individually because Basically, they released the On The Go collection and it has six eyeshadow palettes. Each one has nine pans, which I mentioned previously. And it has like matte shimmers and they're saying metallics and duochrome finishes. I don't know, I don't think I've ever actually used Sigma's. I had, I think I had one palette before from Sigma. I like their brushes. I don't know that I, uh, uh, uh. Maverick. I'm sorry, every time, like listen. As a 40 year old person about to be 41, every time I see the word Maverick, all I, there's like two things that I think about. Tom Cruise and Top Gun and Sarah Palin. That's where it is. All right, so like, I'm like, please stop using the word. All right, so I like the shade Thistle. Like I almost wish, I like Thistle and Envy and Elixir. I almost wish they had made these where I could just mix and match because then I'd add poppy to like that mess that I like the other one I wish that I could just like pull the ones that I want and make my own damn palette that's what they're because they're $29 each if I could make my own palette then yes bitch because I would probably put regal in there so I put like the diagonal of envy elixir thistle then poppy and potentially regal, maybe fantasy. Nothing from this one, nothing, nope. Giving me nothing, nothing, no, Midas from that one, okay? Midas, ooh, mm, I don't know, no, no, no. Like I feel, ugh, I just, I don't, mm. Here's the thing, here's the thing, I, Sigma is one of those brands that like constantly confuses me because I like their brushes, right? I like their brushes. I like, ooh, speaking of brushes, I really need to pick up that set that Robert put together because I just really want to see if it's good. But like I have some of the brushes. Mm. Anyways, I have like mm, impulse control problems today. Okay, I need to order some dinner. Please hold while I order some food for myself. I haven't eaten like most of the day. Let me just handle up on that. I feel like, okay, I'm actually going to give this like major copycat vibes and here's why, because I feel like Morphe and ColourPop have already been doing like doing this thing where they're like releasing several, several like themed nine pan palettes and I feel like that makes sense in my brain and I don't want to hear anybody tell me different. So this has been done, like trying to condense things into nine pans. I really, really want I want to like, listen, I like, like I have some Sigma brushes that I love, I have this one, and I have this other one, this highlighter, oh gosh, I just washed this one and, and like, and I like, this is, this is an elite, this is an elite highlighter brush. I love their brushes, I just wanna like play with their shadows and get to know them, and I don't feel like that's the way for me to get to know them, that's all. That's how I'm, I'm drunk and moving on. Why, <laughs> why is this happening? Okay, so <laughs> Elf Cosmetics and Chipotle have collabed. I, you will collab with Chipotle, but not with me? No, just kidding, am I? Here's the thing, I just, I'm not understanding, like I get it, right, from like a, like a, I want money, I, money, I get it from that perspective, right? I do, I do get it from that perspective. I just truly don't understand. Like what, what purpose are we serving here? It dropped, I'm sure it's already sold out, right? Wait, hold on, my necklace went on a vacay. Yeah. All right, we're back. My choker decided to like leave me. It didn't want to choke me, which I'm disappointed, but moving on. Um, I just, I'm not understanding this. So the, I, I feel like it's probably sold out. I, I'm a member, I'm, I'm like on the elf squad, right? It is a Chipotle eyeshadow. 
12, I, I like already I hate the configuration. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of shit like makes my like actual soul like burn and like get angry. And then I wanna stick all the rest of my souls on this. I'm really tired of people trying to fuck with my eyes doing this. I need things to be symmetrical. Like I don't like the way that this is like I, I hate that. And also like I don't understand the point of that because who wants to have like a significant amount more of one shade than they do of another like that? Like, that no no and here's the it's chipotle i don't even like chipotle that's right i fucking said it i don't even like it i don't like chipotle i think that i thought that i liked chipotle because ozzy osbourne was always going anybody want to get chipotle chipotle jack I'm gonna get Chipotle, and we want to get chipotle like that's why i thought i liked chipotle because i like ozzy osbourne right and so i thought ozzy likes chipotle i like chipotle i don't like chipotle it's not good food do with that what you will, but I always get diarrhea, although a lot of things give me diarrhea because I have intestinal problems, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, I just don't understand this. And they're like, make it hot lip gloss. I don't need a plumping lip gloss. I really need for them to like have also like a non-plumping formula because like, look at these babies. Mwah. So like, I just don't understand. There's a an extra guac face sponge set. I, let me look at this. This seems so weird. Is there like, is, oh, oh, it's a big sponge and a little sponge making it look like a guac. Guacamole is extra! Okay, um, they have a shade called Pinto Beans. And you know what? You know what? They don't even, they don't even have carnitas. Where's the meat names? Where are the meat names? Chipotle, you have meat? Where's where's carnitas? Huh? No. How is that fajitas? I need to know how that's fajitas. That's not even the color of, like, that's not the color of fajita. That's not the color of flour, tortillas. That's like, oh. <sighs> green salsa, hot salsa. Why wouldn't they say, like, salsa verde? I'm so confused. Corn salsa, black beans, white rice. Why is brown rice not brown? I, li, li, I'm done. Listen, I'm not for it. If you are a person who loves Chipotle and you want things to look like Chipotle, then you get that thing. I need to see if this sold out because like it just, I'm bothered. I'm bothered and I need to see. I don't like it. I don't like it. Listen, let me be free. I need to free, it's out of stock. I need to free myself from the shackles of this whole thing. Let me move on and let me just call it what it is. I'm gonna call that a true cash grab. I know that they probably did it, like I believe Jen Love said that they did a, like that's not the first time that Elf has done, they did one last year. I don't like it. It offends my sensibilities. It offends my sensibilities. And for that reason, I'm calling it a true, true cash grab. I need to hit bingo, okay? This is where we are. We I, Bitch needs to hit bingo before she buys any more things or says anything else weird. If you want supreme boredom, it is time for part of LGG's namesake to release some shit, and that is House Labs. Re <laughs> I cannot. They're launching the Edge Precision Brow Pencil. Y'all, literally everything having to do with this brand has just been boring. I I expected so, when Lady Gaga was like, oh, I'm putting out makeup, I was like, bitch, yes. And then when Lady Gaga was like, I'm putting out makeup exclusively on Amazon, I was like, bitch, maybe. And then everything that came out, I was like, why is this happening? I feel personally offended. I, there's like, are there a lot of eyebrow shades? Like, mm, technically, like there's one that's like, kind of strawberry color like it looks like a lip i just don't understand why we're doing this. what kind of world are we living in? i'm not for it i feel like this is one of those brands that just i don't know why this is still happening like and i am actually going to call this oh wait let me take back the true crash grab from the other one i'm gonna call it a food themed makeup item okay then we're gonna call this a collab product that won't die. I feel like House Labs needs, like, it's just, it's over, right? Like, nothing super exciting has come out. I just feel like Lady Gaga had, like, all this fire and, like, had this opportunity to, like, be like, I don't wanna make any more albums. I wanna do the Rihanna thing. I wanna rest on my fucking brand. But, like, this brand is so boring. Like, I've had farts better than this. 
Like I've had farts with more depth than this collection. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about my farts. Well, 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 it's not a new makeup nonsense bingo if Jacqueline Hill is not releasing this. Okay. Mm, I'm really trying. Are we still pretending like nothing happened with the lipsticks? I'm just, oh, I can't. I really can't like go on and act like nothing happened there. I know that they want to, here's, it, but she hasn't addressed anything. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing's been addressed, truly, truly. I, I do not have the testicular fortitude that Teresa has to buy anything from Jaclyn Hill because I, I have sensitive eyes I, I can't, mm, to tell you what kind of person I am, I like to shop online because even if somebody tried it on, I can't see them try it on and therefore it doesn't freak me out. When I used to go to DSW, the second I saw somebody put a bare foot in a shoe, a shoe, the entire store contaminated. Couldn't live my life anymore. I was like, nope, it's over. Let me be free. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was like, let me be free. So this is how I feel about Jaclyn Cosmetics. Like Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, I can't, I can't. The whole thing's contaminated. Let me be free. And then this comes out and we see, we see swatches of some of it and it's like, mm, like I, it's supposed to be face powder. One of them is like fucking orange. Like in this swatch, I'm just like, <sighs> what am I supposed to do with orange? Like that, is that supposed to be for the deeper, to what, but like what? So, and, and here's what I'm saying. Avant-garde, when I'm like not working at a jobby job 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 in a fucking corporation that wants my hair to look spectacular and if I wear a wig, they're gonna be like, new employee. I can't wear this orange. Like I can't, like that's not what's gonna work for me. If that, like, is that the highlight? Like I, I was so upset that my phone vibrated. I just don't understand. Like make whatever you want, Jacqueline. It doesn't matter because I'm not gonna buy it. I just, I genuinely don't get it. I, 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 like somebody even asked, which ones are supposed to be the bronzers? LOL, serious question. Yes, like there's just nothing and I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get the point. I know that there's like also some drama that surrounded this with Twitter. I, I just don't get it. I don't want it. I want to like, and I already use complexion products. But no, never, 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 never. So I, this doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't fit anywhere in here. Now I've gotten myself together and we're moving on. I have, this wine packs so much punch that once I'm finished with it, it's it's over for me, dog. Like, it's over for me. All right. Okay, Kristen Lee has the new shenanigans birthday highlighter that is coming soon. Put it on my face. That's easy. Put it on my face because I need it. I need it to be on my face. I see that and I'm like, Yes, get that, get the on my face, please and thank you. Because I need it, like I need, I need this in my life. Look at how pretty and fun that is, it's so sparkly. Oh baby, like I want you, come be a part of my life. Are you allowed, like let me just go see if it's like, I'm just looking. Stop judging, I'm just looking. All right, so that's done. I. I want, like, put it on my face. All okay. right, so Oma Beauty has a Coming to America collection coming out. And it's like, hmm, here's the thing. But, like, the set, because they're, basically, there's a, if you don't know, they made a part two, which I refuse to watch. There's a number of reasons why. Um, the main one being... I love Coming to America, okay? I absolutely love that movie. I think it's phenomenal, it's fantastic. Just thank you, Motorcycle. Just the undertones, like, I, I, I that, it's so funny and classic, right? I knew, I, I knew deep down in my soul that the second one wasn't gonna be good. I knew it in my soul, I was like, it's not gonna be good. I don't wanna ruin it, so I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm not, I refuse. But it's like, this collection just isn't, it just isn't it. Like the nine pan looks like okay, but like, oh, 
I just, I don't know. I don't feel, oh, I love Alma Beauty. Like I do, but like, I just don't feel like this is it for me. Y'all, I'm sorry. It's just not it for me. I like, I like the lip colors. I like the brown and I like the red and like the more nudie shade, nudie. But like, I just, I have a palette for Alma Beauty. I need to like bust that out and wear it for the palette, palette challenge 2021. I'm not a fan of the highlighter um, palette. Like I just, it's not for me and that is okay. Everything doesn't have to be for me, right? Right. So like, I feel like, a, uh, I don't hate me, but I feel like it's a true cash grab. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a true cash grab because I feel like Elma Beauty is like, I feel like if they would just find their footing on their own. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like their eyeshadows, like their mascara, fantastic. However, I was allergic and that made me sad. I feel like they're like, I have their lippies and their highlighter stunning. Like this highlighter makes my life. I like, oh, every time I pull out Notting Hill because it also smells like coconut. And so every time I open it, I'm like, like a weirdo because it smells so fucking good. Oh, it's like right up in the like back crack of my nostril and I'm living for it. But, but I don't feel like their eyeshadow formula is where I want it to be. And I also really want them to stand on their own two feet when they're releasing eyeshadow. I really, because I feel like because the formula isn't necessarily up to par, they're relying on these collaborations, like the ones with Jackie Aina, the ones with Patrick Starr, and now, with um, the movie, I, I just, I feel like I want them to stand on their own two feet and like be like with their formula and be like, we release this shit on our own. I feel like right now it's just a lot of collaborations when it comes to their eyeshadow formula and I just want them to do their own thing. So that's where I stand on that. And we're gonna move on because like, I don't wanna say anything. I love, I their, their foundation, fucking bay. But like their eyeshadow formula is not it for me. It's just, it's not it. Like I'm gonna try it again, but I think that I ended up not liking it. Like it was okay, it looked all right, but it like, it just, it was missing the, the punch, the oomph in it. All right, that's it. All right, so next up we have Winky Lux is now, like by the way, their bronzer, Ugh, bitch, yes. I wear it often. I'm not wearing it today. Today I have a makeup revolution, but their bronzer's gorgeous. I don't understand this, but it is like, it's, it's what I said. Lip balm is gonna be it. They have, you know, the tint of a lipstick with the hydration of a lip balm. And it's like this marvelous, get it? It's a play on words because marble, marvelous balm. It's the ultimate hybrid. Um, and, and like, this isn't new shit. Like I, I'm definitely gonna call it the same shit, different packaging. And the reason I'm gonna call it that, or same shit, new packaging, whatever. I'm definitely gonna call it that specifically because I feel like we've seen a lot of, we've seen this kind of product before. It's not new. Um, and honestly, like it's a balm, it's a lip balm. And I'm sure it's great, but like, I'm not gonna write home about it. I'm not gonna, oh my God, lip balm. I'm not gonna write home about it. So like, I like Winky Lux for the most part as a brand, but like that isn't my, that, that's not for me. Next! All right, so next up we have Armani. So Armani is coming out with a fluid sheer glow enhancer highlighter, a multi-purpose liquid highlighter and bronzer and blush with a lightweight sheer coverage formula that delivers a radiant dewy makeup look. So I am intrigued by the bronzers. I really am. I, cause I, there is one that's deep enough for me. I really don't, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Like, here's the thing, it's very, very, ooh, it's very expensive. The Fluid Sheer Glow, ooh, $44, $44. Oh, bitch, what? I'll probably get the pink one because that's who I am. It's all right, like, I like the bronzer. Like, I just, I don't know. I, here's the thing, I get it though, because face is face. Like, we're, we're wearing masks and face is what we're doing. Um, as Sam Ravendahl has proven with their brand, Arik. Is that how you say it? Arik? Maybe we'll get the door. My food is here, hold on. Now that I've had a bite of my food, I'm just gonna say, I don't know, like, they have the Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder. It's $64, it's in this, like, compact, which, nice, but, like, I, first of all, I'm full up on setting powders. The Glow Enhancers, I think, I think I might be convinced to try, but you know, I didn't get the ones from Arik. I just, I don't, I don't, mm. here's the thing. 
I have this Max Strobe Cream. Whenever I want to like enhance my glow, I just use this. I just use this and I'm like, yeah. And then like I can get the pink petal one and I'm good, the pink pearl. I don't know, it just, it just is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna move on, we're gonna move on because I'm gonna sit here and like look at it and be like, should I buy it? And then I'm gonna accidentally buy it and I don't wanna do that. Moving the fuck on. Next up, my eyes are so big because when I saw this, I was like, bitch, what? Moira Cosmetics has an ombre blush. Bitch, no. Please hold while I access like my whole life being. Hold on, these are, ooh. Orange blossom. Oh, I'm gagging. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Oh my god. Wait, how much are they? Bitch, what? They said, ooh, use trend mode. They're nine dollars each. Bitch, please hold. Please hold while I access my account. Be no, there's no fucking, no. Wait, hold on. They are so pretty and I'm like a sucker for blush and I've been on like this blush thing lately. I've been wanting like all the blush. So I think that, yeah, I like listen. Stop judging me. Okay, we're gonna look and see what it is on the bingo card. On the card, but those blushes are stunning. Like, I'm sorry, I saw them and I was like, wait, what? This is gorgeous. So, like, why didn't I know about this? Y'all don't know this, but I, for my own health and safety, I actually do not follow any, like I unsubscribe from literally everybody, like everybody's newsletter except for brands that I'm affiliated with because I obviously I need to know what's coming up and if they're gonna send it to me and like I sometimes I need to ask like, oh, are you sending this? Like, because I don't wanna be like, I don't wanna be presumptuous and assuming that they will send it. So I like to ask, you know, whatever. I'm, yeah, um, we're gonna call that already bought it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and call it already bought it because I just did. So, listen. I haven't, I actually haven't bought like makeup, makeup in a little while. Like I've been, I've been fussing around with primers. There's a reason for that and you'll find out. But like, I'm one away from bingo in like two spots. Let's do this bitch. Okay. Next up, um, there's no space for this uh, that I can think of right off the top of my head. However, Hank and Henry, which they have one of the best eyeliner pens on the fucking market, I'm not kidding. One of the best, like Ofra, Hank and Henry um, eyeliner pens. Those are my bays. Those are the ones that I would like, I would give up a lot for it, like just to have those. The, this, the blush, oh my God. The second blush palette looks like life. It really, truly does. I feel like my, I feel my soul trying to leave my body. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, I'm just looking at it because honestly, like that is, that is some shit. Like I, wow, I am over the moon, over the moon by, about this because it's, it's so, they are so beautiful. Like that, listen. I'm showing it to you. I hope it's up like this particular, oh my God, the second one. The second one is what is, oof, oof, just doing me in. I, oof, I, mm, it, cause it's so bright. And here's the thing, with my skin tone, having those like really beautiful, like bright colors just like does something for my soul. And I am just digging that. Like I am absolutely digging it. Like it's so beautiful and I'm just like, y'all, and I feel like it's it's so expensive, but like, I like I know it's gonna be too expensive, but I just wanted to look at it because I was like, bitch, what? They're so pretty, it's so pretty. Oh my God, and they have a sponge, oh, oh. Okay, so. Ah, yes. We've come to the part where it's Dior, which I always, listen, I, like Dior, is, it's beautiful, right? But like, it really is pretty embossing and basic makeup 99% of the time. This is no different. I think it's really pretty, but my reality is that it's like, it's cute, like, like it's cute, whatever, like give me hugs, right? Like, let's, let's do the thing. However, I just feel like, 
I don't know, I just, like, I haven't bought anything by a fancy, like, especially eyeshadows. I haven't bought anything by these fancy ass brands because if I'm perfectly honest, nine times out of 10, I'm just like, what am I gonna do with this? Like, I, it's, it's, it's one eyeshadow shade. And I guarantee you it's two, it's 30 doll hairs? Oh my God, listen, nope, nope. Uh-uh, for one eye, one eye shed. Listen, I'll be back. Let me go take a bite of my food because I cannot, I cannot. Let me just go sit in the corner, eat my food like I should. Thirty doll hairs for a black matte eyeshadow. Yes, I have hiccups because I just ate my food way too fast. I just shoveled it down into my gullet because I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. I cannot. I cannot. I don't even. What the fuck? Yeah, pretty emb pretty embossing basic makeup. Moving on. I cannot. Oh my god, my soul just left my body. Like my soul. Yes. All right, so next up we have the Circus Clown that has completely fucked up my eyes, which is the Natasha Denona Limited Edition Circo Loco Eyeshadow Palette. One, I'm not buying it because it's limited edition. I refuse to buy the majority of palettes that are limited edition, specifically because, like, whenever I wear them in a video, it's like, what are you wearing? I'm like, it doesn't even matter. You can't buy it. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. I get that you can rearrange it. Lacey. I get that you can rearrange it. I don't have the patience or energy for that at all. Um, the teal shades are engaging and inviting to me, but I feel like for the most part, I do have single shadows that would handle up on this and there's literally no reason for me to buy this. I also hate the way that they put it together. Like where basically there's five mattes. It looks like there's five mattes. Maybe there's six, depending on whether or not Acrobat is a mat. I think Acrobat is a mat. So there's six. I just, I hate this thing that they're doing. Like, I don't like the way my eyes are dancing around because I can clearly see what is matte and what isn't. And here's the thing, if they wanted to make this like a kind of cross pattern thing, I just, I just want the, the shimmers to be all together and, one, and then the mats and the, it's bothering me. I and on it like I'm wearing a Natasha Denona palette now. I'm wearing the Sunset palette. Like it's okay. It's all right. Like when I fuss with it, I I kind of get like sort of what I want. I'm not like a huge fan. Like I like this look for the most part. It could just be my shitty talent, at, but I just mm, I can't. I can't do it. I feel like very much so that it's another rainbow palette. Because, like, it, it is. It's Roy G. Bibb. It's another rainbow palette. You can argue me up and down, but that's exactly what it is because I feel like when you rearrange it, you're going to rearrange it in a rainbow fashion to make it happy for you. And good for you. Good for you. But Natasha Denona, you are not getting my coin because I'm just not spending the money on on, on that. On that. Because I have them in duo crowns. I have them in multi crowns. Nope. I'm saying no to that. All right, we are so close to bingo. I am so close to bingo. I need to get free because I have very little left of this. I want to live my best life. I, I truly do. Let me live my best life and hit bingo here. Let's, let's, let's do this thing. Jam, truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Whoa, jam. Okay, done. Ooh, I just found my thank you. Randomizer. We have from Ciate. Ciate London has released this gem. They're proud to announce the launch of the hashtag I am a woman palette. Here's the problem. First of all, 24 pan eyeshadow palette. Whoo, okay, all right, all right. A lot of these shades. The same, gonna look the same on the eye, gonna look the same swatching it. All right, all right. Uh, are they doing anything with it? No, 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 they're not. There's no, it, it doesn't look like there's any proceeds. There's just like a women shape the world as we know it, and so we gave you this basic ass. Bit. Listen, listen, Jefferson Snorkelfish released something similar to this. Like, if you have that one, because you. I'm trying not to judge you. If you have that one, you have that one, okay? I just, 24 shades of beige? B 
Bitch, what? Well, thank you, Siate London, for continuing to disappoint because now I have hit bingo, bitches. That's right, Mother Midnight has hit bingo because if there's one thing that I can always count on, it's the beauty industry making a basic bitch ass palette. Now listen, just because you're a basic bitch doesn't mean you're not a good bitch, so don't get mad. We are who the fuck we are. All right, that is it. I had so much fun playing with y'all. I am gonna go, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna be happy, I'm gonna be merry, but not married. And I appreciate y'all for spending your time with me. If you would, please give this video a big thumbs up because then the algorithm goddess will stop getting mad at me and she'll be like, <laughs> and show me to more people so that I can hit 10K by my birthday. All right, that is it, I promise. I'm gonna go on my merry way, but before I do, huge shout out to my patrons. It's spooky bays, yeah. All right, you know what I'm gonna say? It costs zero, zero dollars. To be kind and so good for your soul, because if you don't wanna be added to my collection, you might wanna take care of yours because I'm coming for it. Otherwise, until next time, XOXO, got the girl. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can get the great papaya and coconut all together, add them all to the cart, bitch, yes. Ooh, that hit me right down to my tingly parts. All right, next up, food, 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 in my belly. Listen, I'm wearing that like, Ooh. Patrons get ready because my goofy ass is about to sit and like talk about Jersey Shore. Just for no reason. Collective? That highlighter? Like, yeah. I got it now! I'm so hungry. <laughs>